When restaurants open their doors again to dine-in service, they'll be dealing with an unprecedented set of guidelines. And in a category all their own are those restaurants that allow customers to serve themselves. Of course, we are talking about buffets. What are they going to do? 17's Robert Price sidled up to the salad bar and delivers this report. It's as much a dining experience as the white tablecloth restaurant. I'm talking about the buffet line. You pick up the tongs left behind by the previous diner. You pick out a nice big juicy piece of chicken. You scoop out some beef stroganoff and then you leave the serving spoon there for the next diner who's coming along. Except that's not going to fly in the era of COVID-19. And that's a problem for restaurants like Hodel's, the unpretentious Bakersfield institution known for its wholesome buffet lines. Don Hodel, who owns the restaurant just off Olive Drive and Freeway 99, says this new ultra-sanitized world will require a complete reinvention of Hodel's business model. Well, instead of self-serve, obviously, we're going to have to serve, and which is something we love doing, is serving people. So that's going to be probably the biggest change um, in a buffet is, you know, you can still pick and choose the varieties of foods. It's just somebody else will be putting it on your plate. Some national buffet style restaurants aren't even going to try. This spring, the parent company of Sweet Tomatoes announced it would close all 97 of its buffet restaurants around the country permanently. Chains such as Sizzler and Hometown Buffet say they're looking at ways to modify their popular salad bars or eliminate them. MGM Resorts International plans to close all the buffets at its Las Vegas properties, part of a seven-point safety plan as it schedules reopenings for sometime in June. McDonald's says it will end the use of its self-service soda fountains, essentially drink buffets, once the fast food giant reopens its dining room doors. And restaurants like Buck Owens Crystal Palace, which serves a popular Sunday brunch buffet, says it will consider new options. Skip Slayton, whose original Jake's Tex-Mex Cafe cafeteria or meal assembly style, says the new requirements will be substantial. Everything about these rules is, is that there's no self-service. Yeah. Even in my case, where I have a, a soda machine that forever you've been able to fill up your own sodas, and your ice and all that kind of stuff, those are going to be off limits. We've got to go back to the old days, how we used to serve individually to everybody. Uh, then we're going to have some other changes along the way. We've ordered face shields, if you can believe this, because we don't like masks, because you can't understand what, you know, it's like going to the, to the drive-up window. Oh, the road, the road. What? You want a what? You get... <laughs> so we're going to try those face shields. The days when you can survey aluminum buffet trays for the juiciest morsels and snag them for the next guy gets a turn may be over. For many restaurants, it's either cafeteria style, where you're dealing with face shield wearing employees, or table service with menus, single use paper menus that then go in the trash. Most of us can't wait to get back to our favorite restaurant, like Jake's Tex-Mex for one. That day is coming, but the experience will not be the same as it was before, so brace yourself. In Central Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.